Hey guys, in today's episode of Business Ventures, I'm gonna indicate the three things I wish I knew right off the bat before starting my Amazon storefront. In the case of my brand, LVOC, I'm looking to essentially OEM products from China to essentially for resale here in the United States. However, one of the biggest considerations is import fees and taxes. Now for resellers, uh, there is a special case in the United States where if you are using it for resale purposes, you don't have to pay taxes upon uh, imports. It is passed on to the final consumer. Um, and I didn't know that, but there is a special, special page where you can apply for a seller's, uh, essentially a license, and you can avoid taxes when purchasing or procuring goods from Alibaba, DHL, or whoever uh, manufacturer you're looking to purchase goods from. So on the screen, I have the California Department and Tax Administration, and this is where you can ultimately get a seller's permit and license. Now, it, depending on what state you're in, uh, it will vary, but for California purposes, since that's where I'm launching my Amazon brand, it's essentially how I have to go about not being taxed when I procure goods from China, because essentially I'm looking to pass the taxes onto the consumer. Now, I didn't know that at the start, and when I was ordering samples, I was getting uh, tax additional fees. Now, for incoming invoices through the manufacturer I'm going with, for uh, sam samples, goods, new products, I won't be taxed uh, the California state fee, which is going to be huge for lowering costs of goods. If you're looking to get a seller's permit, depending on the state again, you have to create an account. You have to list what products you're most likely going to be and industry you're going to be in. So for me, it's going to be leather goods and that uh, consumer service industry on e-commerce. And likewise, you have to produce some information such as the manufacturer and they have to be a group that the C DTFA recognizes or any other government and entity that you choose to get a seller's permit with. The second thing I wish I had done a little bit more research on when uh, sourcing goods for resale on Amazon is the actual amount of fees that Amazon charges. So for me, I'm going to go with fulfillment by Amazon for the shipping and, and prime considerations for the goods I'm selling. But along with this storage and shipping, which is roughly going to be $3 on a cost per unit, there's going to be an item fee per transaction because I'm going with an individual account to start and not a professional account, which has a monthly charge. Then there is an, a referral fee for every item charge, which is somewhere between 10 to 15%. And yeah, these fees accrue to the point where it's roughly almost a third of the final, uh, a third of the cost of goods. Uh, essentially. So for me, the total cost of goods is somewhere around $7 and, and I'm hoping to mark up my item to roughly around uh, $21, $22. However, a third of those, that value is just going to be heading to Amazon. The third thing I really wish I knew or had consideration going into starting my own storefront is the awareness of brand registry and the importance of getting your product trademarked. So for me to do any sort of marketing collateral or advertisements through Amazon, I have to be affiliated with their brand registry. Now, in order to do so, I need a trademark. And to get a trademark can take somewhere between six to 10 months on average. And fortunately, however, Amazon has an IP accelerator, which doesn't speed up the process of getting a trademark to get into their brand registry, but one of the benefits of their, you choosing their IP accelerator is once you have a pending trademark submission, you can go ahead and submit uh, a proposal to join the brand registry. And I'll create a separate video on the importance of being in brand registry, but ultimately it just gives your product and whatever you're choosing to sell a little bit better presence, uh, brand awareness, recognition, and discoverability among uh, Amazon shoppers and consumers.